Hi guys, so if you are new to my channel, welcome, or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about what it's been like um, basically in terms of my progress because it's been a year since I started this whole um, classical art training at home. But uh, I guess technically it's been more than a year because... Um, I started posting videos about uh, about this kind of stuff for more than a year ago but the first official YouTube video I did regarding the atelier at home uh, training I'm doing started in April of 2020 which is uh, last year so I don't know when you're going to be watching this so I just thought I'd say that so now it is June of 2021 so it's been more than a year so I thought I'd just uh, talk briefly about that but as always because this is um, an update uh, video consider, um, regarding my atelier at home training I'm going to start off as usual talking about my bar drawing and then going on into oil painting and then uh, I'll show to you guys basically the first the first barg and the first oil painting I featured on the YouTube on the on my YouTube channel regarding regarding my classical training at home. So yeah, so I swear, I should be scripting these things, but anyways, yeah. So we'll start off like I said with the barg and then go on to the oil painting. All right, thanks. Bye. Okay, so in terms of the bar drawing, the one I just recently finished is uh, the one I was in the middle of last last update, and it's this one right here. So this is the one I literally just finished this like a couple of days ago. So yeah, so I it's still not perfect because um. There's some shading on this part, like the little, the little details that uh, I know I kind of screwed up a bit. But all in all, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. And this is probably the longest Barg drawing I've done because, yeah, just because of all the, the shading, blocking it wasn't too hard, but. It's down to the little details. And for this one, I think I just ended up using HB and 4B. Yeah, so I skipped the, the 2B, I think, which I usually use as well. Alright, and so to compare, the first uh, bar drawing I've ever done is, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. No are the when bark starts off with the body the body part so yeah this is much clearer so that's uh this one i started april 28th this one i did april 28th 2020 so technically the first um atelier update i did was uh posted may 2020 but the bark drawing started in april yeah because that's when i think i did a flip through unboxing and flip through of the charles Park book in April and I started doing it then and the one I featured on the first atelier update video is this one right here so yeah in terms of my progress I the drawing really is the one where I see the most um, uh, positive I guess uh, uh, result when it comes to the atelier at home training so beginning of the year to now just to give you guys an idea all right and then now we're gonna go into the oil painting all right so in terms of the oil painting uh basically what i've done that are finished are two zorn studies again because uh, i'm really obsessed with zorn right now not necessarily the palette but just his work in general but for this two, I actually did um, use the Zorn palette, but I always start off with a 
doing imprimatura and then grisai and then uh, the color painting with the Zorn. So I don't know if that's really if that was his uh, process, but that's how I did it. So the first one is a study of this painting right here, which is a, a close up, I think, of a, a bigger work that he's done. And uh, this is the finished study. So I have, I think I have videos of me working on this painting. So I'll be inserting that while I'm talking about this. So, uh, let's see, yeah. Uh, I'm actually quite happy with how this study turned out. Although, as uh, you guys will see from the original painting, his work is a lot warmer in terms of mine. It's really quite frustrating because I just can't get that whiteness. The titanium white is really such a... I'm pretty sure he uh, he used um, lead white, I believe. So I'm so tempted to actually just uh, splurge and get a, a lead white just so that... To see if that's what's gonna make a big difference. And also, yeah... That my skin tone really is off but in terms of how it turned out I'm, I'm okay with how it it worked out I guess like uh, so you guys I uh, talked about the those charts I made I refer to those charts a lot especially that one right there my painting yeah sorry I'm pointing at that one yeah because of the that's the one I did with the imprimatur background so I use that a lot as a, a reference Okay, so and then the next one is a study of this portrait that Zorn did. And this one I'm actually not quite, yeah, I'm not okay with how this turned out. This is how it turned out. Very different. Like mine is just so grayed out, like with the skin tone. It was uh it was really frustrating. I I was so tempted to wipe this painting off, but I gotta stop <laughs> painting, wiping off my uh, failure paintings. I think so I can really see uh, in the future, you know, like what needs to be corrected and such. I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. Just because, like I said, uh, as a study, it's definitely off. And again, with um, with the the whiteness, I should have made it not only more warmer but brighter. Cause you lose the like, see how the reflected light is on this one? It's just so beautiful. Even just as a print off from the from the web, right? So, anyways, yeah. So that's those are the finished paintings I've done, and this is the one I'm currently working on right now which is uh that's my youngest right there so i'm just on the precise stage right now which honestly i like this stage a lot i find with uh, most of my well, no i should say most but some of my paintings i actually like the precise stage before more than i should more than um when i actually put color on it yeah so again i'll be using the probably the zorn palette We'll see, but I might add something like a different color. Yeah, so that's gonna be what I'll be working on in the future. Let me see. Don't put that away. So, the first painting I featured on my atelier video is this one right here, which is a, a Grisaille still life. Yeah, just to give you guys a comparison. I don't have the others. But this is, I think, the very first one I did. Like, based on the classical method. And, yeah, so... Um, hmm, summary in terms of what I learned after a year. Oh, So, it is hard. It is hard to do it on your own. And, honestly, the biggest hurdle for me is finding the time and the 
motivation to just actually do it because especially I find if uh, a painting failed it's so hard for me to get back into it and start doing it again so it actually takes me a few days to to even just um, uh, start priming my canvases and doing the you know the primatura yeah so if a painting failed for me yeah like I said that that's the that's something I really gotta get over still after a year I, I, I still find that that's the biggest problem and also you know because uh, I'm a mom with three kids and you know with other stuff going on it's sometimes it's really hard to find the time and you, for most of us out there you know who have a busy lives it's really just that's my advice is just to kind of push push yourself to do it even when you're really tired <laughs> sometimes so in terms of the drawing though I think that's uh that's the one I'm really happy with in terms of how my drawing has uh, has been going really seeing an item or like a, a subject now not just as a like let's say you're doing a tree or a person you just don't start drawing it as okay I'm looking at a person it's like oh you're just seeing it in an abstract way that's that's I'm sorry if I'm not <laughs> wording it properly but I think for me that was the biggest um, the biggest um, thing I guess I learned is just how to see objects in an abstract form and how to simplify everything first before getting bogged down with, uh, with the little details so yeah it's a uh, compared to probably go because I have no experience uh, how it is going to an actual atelier but I think um, if you're in an atelier it's obviously you're gonna have a bigger I think a, I shouldn't say bigger but maybe quicker quicker progression when it comes to to drawing and painting than doing it on your own and uh, but that's okay because um, like I said previously in my other I think in my first video I just don't have the time or the money to go to an atelier so that's something I have to kind of resign myself with is that my progress will be a lot slower than someone who's actually going to school but like I said because because I'm not doing this for really uh, like you know like I, it's not like I have an end goal of being the next Monet or whatever I just want to do it for fun so uh, yeah there's really no rush I guess and I even with me I have to think of that sometimes like you know what just do it for fun don't think of uh, don't compare yourself to other people and yeah so yeah that's that's what I learned so far like doing this for a year um, so hopefully I can keep doing this for a lot longer and to all of you who've been uh, watching this video thank you so much um, currently I have about 500 subscribers which I know is not a lot like that's like minuscule but to me, that means a lot that there's some of you out there who's interested in what I'm putting out there. Thank you, thank you so much. And um, as always, uh, please comment down below if you have anything to say, just to say hi or whatever. And <clears throat> if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to, to answer you. So that is it for today's video. Um, yeah, so stay safe out there, you guys. And see you next time. Bye.